I'm NCSA point, point of contact. Uh, I'll be presenting on behalf of uh, Professor Jerry Bernholk from North Carolina State University. He is unfortunately uh, unavailable to attend today's presentation and ask me to, uh, to describe the project, uh, to describe the work that we've done together. Uh, this project is a collaborative effort of uh, uh, four, team, um, four teams, two PRAC teams, uh, uh, NCSA, and one outside team. And uh, we are, uh, I'll be talking about development of amber, or amber non polarizable classical force fields. And uh, when it comes to force fields, it perhaps uh, uh, looks quite strange that, that we talk about uh, the need of using petascalar resources. Uh, for optimization of such trivial things as uh, point charges and Lerner Jones parameters. However, when we uh, think about getting force fields right, uh, it becomes a natural, uh, it becomes absolutely necessary to use petascalar resources to do anything uh, uh, to, uh, to do uh, to optimize a force field to the level that it will be giving uh, accurate and reliable results. So in this project, I will be talking about um, <coughs> the use of electronic structure simulations. Uh, it's uh, RMG code and uh, 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 NWCAM code. I'll be uh, quickly reviewing uh, the uh, experimental data that we extracted uh, from crystals uh, and then computation of base-base uh, interaction energies. Uh, and then I'll briefly describe uh, what we did with uh, amber force fields. And uh, let me start from uh, uh, explaining what was oops, sorry uh, what was uh, 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 reason that we started developing this project. You know that amber force field is a workhorse uh, of modern uh, molecular dynamics packages. Every uh, well-known molecular dynamics package, pra uh, practically every known uh, molecular dynamics package includes amber force field, and. Uh, since it's so easy to use uh, polarizable force fields and, uh, I'm sorry, non-polarizable force fields and uh, MD packages, it's so easy to get wrong results. Uh, so you can easily burn tons of compute time, uh, waste tons of human uh, uh, your personal time, and still get nowhere with using MD simulations. Uh, that's why well-optimized force fields are absolutely necessary to get, uh, to get, uh, uh, to get right results uh, for right reason. And uh, if you want to do uh, it right, get uh, parameters optimized uh, well, you have to do that against experimental data. And it's happened to be doing that right is uh, extremely important. We'll be using several electronic structure methods that will assist us in doing that work. And uh, one of those is the RMG package, real, multi uh, <coughs> real space multigrid method developed by a uh, team of uh, Jerry Bernholk in uh, North Carolina State University. There is an open source code. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's well known and well regarded in community. It has a broad range of uh, features available. Uh, can do tons of uh, interesting electronic structure simulation stuff. It's available uh, easily for downloading, easily compiles uh, on Blue Waters uh, and even on uh, personal laptops. <coughs> This code is uh, 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 achieved. Sorry, this code achieved a, uh, uh, practical li linear scaling to all available GPU uh, nodes on uh, uh, Blue Waters and uh, even more uh, on uh, Titan machine. Uh, first, when we need to work with uh, uh, amber force field, we need to get reliable experimental data. It's uh, in a collaboration with uh, Tom Cheatham, who is uh, in this room. Uh, we did a lot of work on uh, extracting uh, these, uh, sorry, uh, uh, dimers, trimers, tetramers, which are uh, which are providing tons of experimental data uh, about base base about uh, interaction that exists between base uh, different types of orientation that exist in between bases, and using this information is absolutely necessary to fine tune particular interaction that exists between uh, bases. Uh, in, uh, unlike uh, using electronic structure methods for optimizing and producing these structures, which would be unreliable, we prefer getting all those configurations from experimental data. 
since in that case we can be sure that these conf configuration not just randomly uh, selected from a uh, infinite uh, infinite space of conf uh, configuration space of bases uh, most of which are practically uh, useless uh, having no practical uh, significance so in order to reduce uh, time and in order to uh, focus uh, on only work only on those configurations which are practically significant we have to use experiment to guide us which of those uh, theoretically possible base base orientations are uh, important so we get uh, this number sorry i still cannot use it probably we used uh, j extracted th this number of dimers uh, much more trimers and uh, a lot of tetramers and this procedure is well automated and can be uh, can go uh, to many uh, can be applied to other crystals uh, and we hope that uh, this procedure for extracting experimental data will be used uh, to optimize uh, to work uh, to become a systematic approach for optimization of uh, force fields um, that's uh, experimental data provide uh, as I said uh, important reference points but when we uh, talk about molecular dynamics, we just, uh, it's not enough just to have those particular configurational spaces described, uh, described right. We want to have energy between base-base interactions, uh, of base-base interactions, to have a pro proper curvature. So if we take base-base um, uh, interactions, start uh, moving them apart, we'll have a typical uh, par uh, 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 parabola when it will be in a, in a crystal si uh, simulation, because if we go too close you get repulsion if you move them apart they will have uh, interaction with uh, neighboring molecules so it will be parabola but we cannot get uh, entirely parabola uh, from uh, uh, from simulations w what we can get we can do uh, run MD simulation of a crystal here is an example of guanine ethyl guanine crystal we run uh, density functional theory uh, QM MD using den density functional theory using RMG code and uh, allowing system slightly relax, uh, uh, perturb structure. Uh, it, uh, it we collect points which are in a very, very close vicinity to the surface. So if we look in a uh, parabola, we are getting near uh, some points near the minimum. So we, uh, instead of uh, uh, just dealing with one experimental data, we can just describe uh, optimized fossils based on a single point. Now we can work with parabola. Of course, this looks it, it will look here not only as a parabola, it will look like a line, uh, like a uh, exponential, uh, exponential line, but it still uh, provides sufficient uh, number of uh, 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 right points from the configuration space which can be used to properly train base-base interaction or their dependence, uh, distant dependence interactions. Here is an example of what we get. So uh, uh, if we place experiment um, uh, uh, points generated from QMMD along a, uh, just in a se sequential order, so from a larger interaction uh, to the uh, smaller interaction, just in a random, uh, random order. Uh, and get a relative, and here a plot relative interaction uh, en energy between bases, not absolute, relative. We, d we are not much interested in producing absolute energy since those will be in the gas phase, and we don't care much about gas phase simulation. We want to reproduce, we want force fields reproducing right relative energy. If it's, uh, that particular orientation is more uh, strong, strong interacting in, in, uh, 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 in gas phase, uh, force fields should be able to reproduce uh, that trend right. So here, what uh, what we see here, uh, this is uh, these are data from uh, QMMD computed using a couple cluster interaction uh, level, and uh, these extra data. This is amber and this is charm. We can see that uh, amber 94 it's original, amber force field amber 19 it's the one that we uh, improved. We can see that uh, both agree a little better than existing charm force field. Uh, which is a good sign that uh, amber force field is doing a uh, good job and w uh, this type of uh, uh, plot can be used to further refine we can uh, adjust particular contacts that exist uh, this is example uh, this is a confirmation that was used if we know which contacts are uh, responsible for this pair we can do this uh, optimization and uh, this has to be done with uh, dozens and even hundreds of configurations in order to properly get uh, everything averaged. 
So the resources that will be uh, that were required for these simulations is, uh, as I said, two packages and WCAM and uh, RMG. A couple of clusters are triple triple zeta basis set, uh, since it uh, everything uh, um, uh, is limited by available resources. We don't want to do spend too much uh, uh, time on doing. Uh, more than than that, it's already sufficiently uh, high level, and the system is quite large, uh, having 44 atoms for this uh, uh, dimer, and it takes to in total it takes about uh, three hours on uh, 4K nodes on blue waters, and uh, we did 154 such simulations, which are pretty uh, uh, resource demanding work. Here is an example of what we were able to get when we uh, used those data for optimization. Uh, CH36, it's a standard Charm 36. AM94, it's a standard Amber uh, force field for bases. It, it has um, Lerner Jones 94 reflects that Lerner Jones parameters and charges are from original uh, Wendy Cornell's uh, paper. Uh, and Amber uh, 19, it's our new modification or new improvement to the amber force field for the bases. Uh, we can see here, uh, trained, uh, tested, against, tested against 147 results. We can see that uh, amber 19 shows smaller error, smaller than charm 36, smaller than amber 94. And uh, we didn't do anything, just simply uh, uh, replace charges uh, based on fitting to those experimental crystal da data, and uh, um, uh, uh, and it indicates indicates that uh, we did it right, choosing a different uh, choosing crystals uh, fitting charges to the crystals, uh, since it's uh, without any additional effort from our side, from our any additional tweaking of parameters, we get uh, already improved agreement uh, with uh, uh, quantum mechanical data, which were not used in the uh, training of the force field. Uh, what we uh, learned from this uh, 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 work is uh, it just, uh, we've got extra confirma uh, confirmation that uh, optimizing uh, force fields at the m uh, modern time in order to get uh, more and more or better agreement with experiment re requires more and more computational resources and uh, it's uh, uh, likely we're only starting uh, using beta scale resources and it's uh, obviously even existing resources are not enough to optimize uh, properly force fields and I would say if we're having such mu so much effort uh, uh, and uh, getting uh, uh, making very small steps, I would say that uh, uh, training uh, approximate quantum mechanical methods would be uh, practically impossible for another uh, several decades. So we, we were able to get a huge number of uh, uh, data, which sooner or later will be, uh, soon or later will be available for public use after we get everything uh, uh, proper level uh, after we get our paper uh, accepted. Um, then we uh, learned and we uh, showed how to use QMMD to generate additional data points to sample conformational space in relevant points, uh, unlike just uh, uh, using single point quantum mechanical uh, data points. Uh, we use experimental data and uh, enlarge our data set by sampling around those experimental data. Uh, the way we improved AMBER-19 is as I said, it was just uh, chart fitting uh, and then testing against a couple cluster how well those charges work. And uh, uh, we were able to see that by doing practically very little modification, but it cost us a lot to get all those data uh, for, for the validation, we were able to get uh, evidence that uh, fitting charges to crystal uh, conformations uh, does the right job. And uh, finally, I'd like to thank um, all my uh, collaborators, Tom Cheatham, who is in this room, Jerry Bernholk, uh, Valeria Polti from Mexico, and uh, genuine support of uh, uh, Blue Water Project Office uh, for doing this work. So we were able to get, uh, hopefully, some uh, 
useful result that we can soon present to the science community for, the, for use. Thank you.